Okay, in this tutorial or walkthrough, I'm just gonna show you what EasyDOS can do and how it works and all that. So, there you go, let's switch over to the mini PC. Let's start up EasyDOS. And you'll see here's the splash screen EasyDOS version 0.1. Press any key to continue. So, here's the main menu. We have choice of browse files, uh, utilities, about, or exit EasyDOS. Let's just let's browse files first. So in here we can go to a path, we can view files in the current directory, we can enter a folder, open a file, delete file, copy files, create a folder, delete a folder, or go back to the main. Now let's just as an example, let's show the folder or the files in this current directory. The current directory is the um, folder in which EasyDOS is held, you can see the files in there. And let's go back and let's create a folder in here. Let's just call it Bob. And you can see if we go back to view files and directory, you can see right there that the folder was created. So we can go back, we can let's delete the folder now because I don't want that in there. Delete it. Go back, look, yep, it's deleted. Okay, now you see all the rest of that. It's pretty easy to get hold of. Go back to main. Go to utilities, we can view drive info, format a drive, ping, defragment, check disk, or go back to the main. Let's just view the drive info for my C drive real quick. You see the volume info, serial number, blah blah blah. Now let's uh, let's ping myself real quick, just because I'm bored. Pings me on the network, so here we go. Pinging myself. And there you go, that's that. And then we can check this, defragment, format a drive, blah blah, you get the idea. Go back, see about, yeah, it's made by me, get my email and all that. And exit easy DOS, yes, I would like to exit easy DOS. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.